All right, let's see what's in this week's auction. It is a dandy, folks, and it is big. Make plans to be here late. <clears throat> Real nice little painting there. As you can see, furniture section is full. Do a quick scan now. Let's follow to the right here. Pulled a large load out of an old church over in northeast Kansas City this week, last week. And there's our regular groups of items. Love this old chair. Love the arms on it. And then these big baluster type feet on it. It's pretty cool. There are project pieces of furniture throughout the auction. So if you're a little handy or you like to paint, this could be a phenomenal auction for you to attend. I'd really make sure that you're here for this. But then there's also really nice, nearly new wingback chairs. There's a pair of these in custom fabric. Really nice little wicker day bed, actually. Lots of neat chairs. A little red, 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 red tan easel kind of tucked behind there. Make sure you notice that. The chaise here is by Kittinger, and the back reclines. Uh, extremely high dollar piece of furniture when it was bought new. Sort of a pair of chairs, little French style chairs. See that on the other side of the vitrine. A real nice little vit, uh, French cabinet there, bevel glass. Some objects. Really nice little uh, early Victorian parlor set. Good condition, good color. A couple of Native American rugs. Nice little walnut sofa table. And this one actually has a drawer, which is kind of a nice little feature. Maddox tables. Kind of a neat little feature there on that. There's another sofa table. This uh, library table, or it could be used easily as a harvest table, seven feet long. Just a neat, simple, older table. Nice old form. Neat little bank of drawers here with a roll in the center. Pretty positive this came out of a roll top desk, but it's a great little piece of standalone for anywhere you need to put it. Little Asian screen. Nice chairs. Really cool patio furniture. Uh, aluminum, probably from the late 50s, early 60s. Neat little set. Beautiful Chinese rug underneath this wonderful table and six and matching buffet, probably from the late 20s, early 30s. Beautiful detail work on the legs, though. Nicely upholstered, really nice quality set. So the crystal is, um, it has Germany stickers on it. Didn't have a chance to look those up. Several little groups of uh, glass on the table here. There's the two Manhattan pieces. We'll sell a little console bowl with it. There's a big group of uh, Oh, candle wick. There's a couple of non candle wick pieces. A little picture will sell with the candle wick yeah, as well. And then the big group of Fostoria. There's only one, two, three groups of glass on this table. We're going to sell this as groups of glassware, folks. So come on out, add what's here, make sure you're on top of what we're doing. Nice little 1930s, late 30s bedroom set here. Little vanity and chest of drawers. A couple of nice celluloid boxes. Here's the chest that matches that vanity. Actually, it's more like a bachelor's chest. This is a neat little four drawer French you know, chest of drawers, real nice little uh, you know, cabriole foot on there. Nice little polished brass mirror. This is a Barbara Cosgrove floor lamp, and those things are 700 bucks or so to buy them new. Really nice camel lamp with a little painted shade. Love these, uh, this pair of Victorian, early Victorian engravings and great deep well Victorian walnut frames. The, uh, the engravings need to be cleaned. It looks like the paper is in really excellent shape. It's just soiled. Uh, these were in the attic of the church over there. Uh, I imagine they were donated a long time ago and never hung up in the church because they're not religious at all. Another cute little vanity. Another nice little group of the uh, tea leaf. Um, this is a neat table. I like this kind of fluted column, columnar leg. Nice little pair of tables. Neat industrial library table, some neat uh, 1930s objects on it, like the, the, the meat slice is really pretty cool. Wonderful looking oak desk. Needs some work, but uh, 
love the graining on this. Love the heart, real art, you know, just really good mission oak, mission oak arts and crafts. Good looking piece all the way. Neat little shelf again from the church. This is uh, Victorian with a really little sparse spoon carving. Some advertising pieces, neat little Pepsi sign. It's got a neat little seven up bottle opener, little Hyros jugs. This piece is a phenomenal piece. It's 10 foot, 2 inches long. I'm trying to get back far enough to get the whole thing in the camera shot. I don't know if I can. It's two pieces. I said it's 10 foot, 2 inches, so it'll, if you're in a booth in a mall, 10 foot, they'll probably let you get away with the extra 2 inches. Um, ask to make sure before you bring it to the ball, but, you know, great old display piece. And lots of neat items in it, like the old Coca-Cola hand fans. These are calendar tops that, uh, let me see if I can do this. Hang that right there. So, cute little calendar tops, and this one I think actually says on the top, yeah, $1.40 with a minimum of 25 calendars. That's kind of a neat deal. A little push toy. Instead of six trials chairs. These are this is cool, this old spotlight here, 1930s. Neat little lamps, some pinups. These little tables are really cool stacked up. There's five of them all told. Just homegrown primitive stuff, but uh, they'd be great shelves, you know, like this in a shop or a booth. Hang them up whatever color you wanted to. Porcelain sign, but I'm pretty sure this one's new. And then really nice oak display cabinet. The back panel is a door that will open straight back. Getting out of the uh, old church. It's a nice little drawers. Love the pulls on these. S&W for Sean Walker. And then the insert there. Typewriter is unusual. Look how wide that carriage is. And then also has the glass around the edge. It's kind of a neat little deal. Cool chalkboard. Nice shelving units. Bookcases. Some work again, but uh, good good bones and a lot of this stuff. Neat little clock that works. I don't know why it didn't get plugged in. There's actually hats in the boxes. Didn't have a chance to get those clean taken out before we did the video. I'm shooting on Thursday, the day after my national TV debut. Kind of a cool deal. Got three nice bubble glass frames. Those are already stained in payola. We'll talk more about that up front with the majority of their furnishings and collections are. Real nice little three-door bookcase there. Love that Art Nouveau style hardware. The brass gallery needs one. Needs a little bit of work up here. It needs the brass gallery there and a little block made for the back. Interesting set of horns. Cool primitive piece here. Nice collection of the Victorian cross-corner frames. Everything from a nice little was that about a. 6 by 9, 12 by 14, to a nice big one here. Um, neat little Mission Oak shelf, pair of neat uh, speakers, great little pine cabinet, just a great little display piece. That's a map of the old northeast area of town. If you look at it, there's Lexington, North Terrace Park, uh, Melrose area, there's Thompson Walden, Gladstone Boulevard. Um, Neat, neat old piece. And a nice little oak table and six. This is a kind of an unusual little deal. The Marcrest set. Huge set. I think there are 35 dinner plates. And those are actually selling on eBay in the 10 to $15 per plate range. So uh, you add that up with all of the other accessories there. There's a lot of Marcrest there. The old, the old Hull Marcrest. And uh, pretty good little group of stuff. That'll sell as a set. Uh, you know, that's how we like to do things down here if we can. That's kind of it for the furniture in the front half, in the gallery, in the furniture gallery section. Three nice footstools here. There's more in the front. I'll talk about that in the front half videos here in just a second. But uh, make sure you uh, plan accordingly. This is going to be a late auction. We have lots of really nice furniture. Obviously, we'll be here. Hope you load up afterwards, but uh, kind of make arrangements to get things picked up afterwards so that you're not held in a lurch. We're working on a great estate in Raytown that's already scheduled for pickup for the September 4th auction. So this space will fill up again quickly and uh, it's turned into a really nice auction on, th on, th on next Tuesday. And we're having a lot of fun here in the new building. So 
Make sure you come on down, and we'll see you Tuesday.